Hello, this is Noreen from Joy of Cards, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yay! For more of my Stampin' Up! card videos, click, click the subscribe button and the little bell, and you'll be notified when my videos release. Now, I'm doing today trees for sale, and we're going to do uh, one of these cards. We're going to do the big card, and I'm just going to tell you about the little card. Now, I just did a tutorial two days ago on July 14, 2022, and it's the full tutorial on how to, like, cut and layer. Look, I made a zillion Christmas trees on, that, on the video. They're all labeled with all the papers I've used. I show you how to put together the trailer and all the little, you know, what all the little dies are. So stay tuned for that. But trees for sale is in the mini catalog on page 39. And it's also in celebration. You get the die in celebration and the stamp in the new mini catalog. Now, if you want one of these now, celebration is only good through the end of August and the mini catalogs through December. So if you need one, uh, email me. My email is in the description of the video or it's Noreen at joyofcards.com. So let me go ahead and show you what I did with this one right here. So this little card is really cute. I wanted to make one where it wasn't so Christmassy. Now I did take this one off and replaced it, but um, you can go ahead and make it totally a non-Christmas card, or you can put some uh, real red rhinestones on there and make it a Christmas card just by doing that. But all the dimensions and all the products that I'm using are in the body of my video. There's a description, and if you click on the show more, the little arrow, whatever, if you're on your tablet or phone or PC, um, everything is listed. So um, what I've got here is black five and a half by four and a quarter. This pretty blue is from Sun Prince, and I thought it just made a really pretty sky. The green part, the grassy part, this is from Boughs of Holly, which is in the mini, mini catalog as well. Now, I'm going to show you how I I'm, do the trailer when I do the other card, but I've got the silver, so saffron, black, real red. I made the wheel uh, silver right here below. The doggy, I'll show you how to do the doggy in the other card. And then the trees, I did, and this is, I just took the trees from the instructional video, but We've got Mossy Meadow and Boughs of Holly. And then we also have Mossy Meadow and Boughs of Holly here, but they're reversed. So this one's got Mossy Meadow for the intricate cutout and Boughs of Holly for the background, and this is reversed. And then we've got Old Olive and Rustic Harvest. We've got Textured Chic and Black. And then we've got Black and uh, Old Olive here. And then the die is from Stylish Shapes. And then I went ahead and I stamped this in Evening Evergreen so it would really pop out. And then on the inside, I just put the doggy in there with some uh, Starry Sky and so Saffron. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put all the dimensions, everything in the video. And now let's make that other card though. So let's start with this really pretty card. Now the base, this is a, a slimline card. The base is a nine by eight and I scored it at four. And don't worry about writing it down frantically. Just go to the description. You can pull everything up. By the way, I'm also an Amazon affiliate. So anything extra that you see that not Stampin' Up! because I have two things you can buy from me. Stampin' Up! stuff, of course, directly from Stampin' Up! through me, and all the stuff they don't sell, like my glass here, the pockets for the paper, the magnets for uh, dies. So you can get all that through me from uh, my Amazon links. And I'm all checked out. I'm an affiliate, so I'm all good. So anyway, um, we are going to do um, this Garden Green 9 by 8 score at 4. And then I went ahead and I did an outline in that glitter red and it's red and white, but we're just gonna use the red here. Now you notice that it's obviously not too big and usually when you have to piece something together, it just won't work. I mean, you'll be able to see the line, but since this is glitter and there's so much distraction, you don't see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take two pieces, obviously, because I can't just use one. And I'm going to take my cutter here and we are going to cut the width of it. So we know this is four. 
So I'm going to take both sheets because I want them to be exactly the same and I'm going to go to four and I'm going to cut it just like that. Now you got two pieces of red. They're both four by six basically. So this is going to go on the card like so. But I don't want to waste all this red glitter in here. So I'm going to cut it out. I know there's only uh, a quarter of an inch that I need to stick out. So you give it a little bit more. So I'm going to go to about mm, here. And usually I use a die like my rectangle stitch frames, but it's like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to cut it, just cut out the part that I know you're never going to see because it's under the other part of the card. And I'm just going to cut it out just like this. And so we've got this to use for later. And this piece, now this is six inches and the card is nine inches. So I need three more inches. So I'm going to take this and I know I'm not going to cut on the four side. I'm not going to cut this way. I'm going to cut on the long piece and I'm going to go to three and I'm going to cut it off. Bonk. And then I'm going to do the same like I did before. So now we've got this part here and this part here, right? Well, I'm going to cut out that extra in the middle because I want to save it. I save all my scraps and that's what's great about those pouches that I keep the paper in and they're on my Amazon affiliate link. You can keep all your uh, scrap pieces so you can use it for other things and just remove it like so. Then take that glitter paper and just snail it up and match it up completely on your card base. It's going to not look so great now because, you know, <laughs> it's got a big cut in the middle, but that's okay. So I'm going to put this one on and you're going to notice when I put it on that you're not going to see that in between because like I said, it's got so much glitter that you don't even notice it. So that's how you do the glitter background. So I like skipping to the inside just to tease you a little bit and we're going to go ahead and do the inside. So we're going to take a piece of real red and we're going to cut this 875 by 375 and stick that in the middle. Now we're going to take Christmas greetings from the stamp set and we're going to stamp it in real red and this is a clear stamp so you need your stamping pad here. So we've got Christmas greetings. The trees, we're going to use the big one and the medium one. And we're going to do the background first in granny apple green. So I'm going to put a big one here and a big one here. And that medium all in the granny green right next to it. Right next to it. And then we're going to take shaded spruce in its layer. So the trees layer up. Now if you go to my tutorial, I show you all the ways that you can use these stamps, the layering, the cutting out, the everything. So go to my uh, previous video and you'll see all that. So we're going to layer these up like that. There's the big one and they layer really well. I mean, you would think that it would be hard to match it up and it's like, nope, this is pretty dead on. So just like that. And then I just layered it up on top of the real red. Now let's go back to that front. So the first part of the front, you're going to take a piece of basic white. This is going to be cut 3.75 by 8.75. Then you're going to take a piece of rings of love. That's in the new catalog, the new mini catalog. And we're going to use this beautiful uh, blue background. And unfortunately, you're cutting all these really pretty um, birds on the back. It kind of makes me ill, but that's okay. That's okay. I've got to part with the paper. And then this is cut 8.75 by 2.5. So I'm not going to waste a whole lot of that paper because it's so pretty. And just put it right on top. Now we need to make this mountain range. Now I live in Colorado. I've lived here most of my life. So I know a mountain range is more than just one, you know, series of mountains. So 
Uh, we're going to take our Mountain Air, the stamp right here, and I'm going to use my Stamparatus just because it's a big stamp and it, it's those clear stamps I just want to make sure. And Basic White. And we are going to do three of these. So go ahead and use your Stamparatus and I'm going to move this over just a little bit. And I'm going to stamp this out. And that looks really good. And then I'm going to take Majestic Mountain, which is the die that matches it. And I'm going to take a piece of my <laughs> lovely uh, delicate frog tape. I'll put this in the link of my uh, Amazon affiliate uh, description as well, because this is the best tape that uh, to use for taping down dies. That's my opinion. That's what I use. So, and it's cheap and it lasts forever. I've had this probably two years and I'm not even through it. And it's like nine bucks. So I'm going to line this up, tape it down and cut them out. And we're going to cut out a total of three. So I've already done the first two and they look like that. So now I'm going to cut out the third. Now that you've got your mountains all cut out, take one of them and snail it and put it right in the middle, kind of high because I really want more of the white to be down here. Now the other two, I went ahead and I dimensionaled them up. And if you notice, they're dimensionaled up and the peels are off and it's on my silicone craft sheet and guess what? It doesn't stick. So another reason why they have one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of offset this, kind of lay it down gentle just in case you have to adjust and I'm going to do some offsetting here not make it look too even because then it won't look as real so just kind of maybe a little bit more on one end than the other kind of crisscross this mountain over the other without having the mountain show through so just like that so the hangover and we'll go ahead and take some scissors and we're gonna just cut that right off. So it won't even matter and it'll look like that. For the trailer, let's uh, go ahead and assemble it. And what I'm gonna do is cut out a black of the die that looks like this. I'm gonna cut out a black, a gray granite, a white, and a partial of the silver. And I only did a partial of it because why waste it? So a partial of the silver. And when I cut out the partial of the silver, make sure you save the circle. And the part that I'm cutting is the trail hitch and the window. That's what I'm really after. And when you cut the gray granite, what I'm really after is the window. So inside the window. So you can take this trailer and put it to the side. And then you're going to take the window treatment, which is this little die right here. And I'm going to cut that in real red. And then you're going to take the layering piece for the trailer and cut it in basic black. Let's start with the black and the silver. Now in this one, I left the trailer hitch black, but I decided for this one, I'm going to make it silver. So I'm going to snail this on and I'm just going to put it right over that trailer hitch and part of the trailer like that. And now I'm going to take that circle from the window and I can, I can snail that up and I'm going to put it right over the wheel right here. So it has a, a hubcap. Now I'm going to take the white and snail that up. Actually, before I put it on there, I always forget this part. I'm going to cut off the wheel and the trailer hitch. So those go bye bye. And then I've already snailed it and I'm going to line it up over the main piece like so. And then take the layering pieces, the ones we did in black and I did a whole bunch in that tutorial, so go one video back and you'll see all the different concoctions of colors that I did for the trailer. It's kind of neat. And then let's take the other piece of the layering and put it on the top like that. And here's that gray granite, uh, the two window pieces. Now, the long one, there is a right way and a wrong way, and I just happened to do the right way. <laughs> that was just dumb luck. And then I'll take my tweezers 
and put these in there. Now these are the new tweezers that go with that embossing set that is really nice. It's in the new mini catalog in the back. It has a tray for embossing powders, an embossing buddy, um, a brush to get embossing powder off, and these tweezers, and they're really nice. Now that little piece will just fit right in there since there's so many layers, it just stays on. You don't even really need to snail it down. And we're gonna put that window treatment on like that. And then this little piece, I'm just gonna stick in here. It'll just kind of stay there for a while. And that's how we do the trailer. So in the slimline card here, I put that reef on the trailer. Now this one I didn't because I really didn't have this as a Christmas card until I put this one on, but I decided to omit the reef. So, but we're gonna do it here. Now, what I did here was really interesting. These real red rhinestones are, were just a little tiny bit big for the reef. I mean, you can do it. Um, it's not too bad, but I thought I'd show you also another way. What's also in the new catalog is the pearlized enamel effects comes red, white, and black. And if you've never used these before, you might want to um, just do some practice here. In fact, when you really open it again, you want to practice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my silicone craft sheet. I'm telling you, this thing is awesome. And I'm going to make little teeny tiny little dots. I'm going to make three so or more if one doesn't turn out too well. I'm going to make three tiny little dots. I might make a couple just in case ones turn out a little too big. Okay, see those little dots? And I'm going to sit here and at the end of the video probably I'm going to put these on. So um, they're going to sit there and dry and then I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the reef and I'm going to put them on. Now if they were bigger dots, I would take um, my glue dots here and just take off a strip and you can make your own embellishment. So I'm going to take this and I'm putting it right on that glue dot just like that. And when that dries, you can use it just like a sticker. So, and if you're making a lot of glue dots, if it's just on regular paper, if you just tap the paper, it'll round it up a little bit. So I'm gonna put this to the side here. Maybe at the end, it might be dry. It might, it, that's a big one, so it probably won't. And by the way, the uh, dies for the reef, here's the dye reef, and here's the little bow reef here. So I already pre-cut those uh, out in uh, garden green and real red. And I'm gonna take my fine tip glue, which if, if I'm gonna use glue at all, it's always a fine tip glue, and just glue it on like so. And then I'll take my real red rhinestone here. In fact, I'm gonna move that down just a little bit. And I'm gonna put it in the middle of the bow. Now, if, if you wanna go ahead and just use these to decorate, I mean, you can, but you see, it's just a little too big. So that's why I thought, oh, I'll make, I'll make these little dots and then you can see how this is kind of useful. So um, I'm gonna leave this off until I put these guys on um, the reef because I don't wanna do it the other way around. So that's how you do the reef. Now I decided to go ahead and use the banner. Now there's another, um, you can use this big light thing and poles and all that, but I decided not to do that. But they look like that if you're gonna do a, uh, any of these. But anyway, so I went ahead and cut that out in real red. I'm gonna use these awesome tweezers again and my fine tip glue and I'm gonna glue this on. So I just put the banner on there and now I'm just going to cut off the little ends because it goes a little long. And while I was uh, gluing this on, I noticed that I actually made the, the drapery in black. You probably caught it. Um, so I went ahead and put a black piece over it. So that's how you do the trailer. Now let's start the trees. And what we're gonna make are three of the big trees and three of the medium trees. So you're gonna use the detail and the outline of the big one and the outline and the detail of the medium one. You're going to cut the detail in basic black and the outline in garden green. And I've already put together five out of my six. So then I'm gonna take 
on my sixth one here my fine tip glue and glue it up now i do give away the demo card so if you're a first time subscriber like subscribe put in the comments that you want to win the demo card you have to leave your email so many people have won the demo card and if they don't put their email i'll comment back that they won the card and unless you're checking it you're never going to know <laughs> so um go ahead and put your email on there and i will email you back and you can win either this demo card or one of the other ones if this one's already gone so go ahead make three of the large and three of the medium now before we put the snow on our trees here i want you to stamp out trees for sales this one here i did this one in early espresso here's the die so i went ahead and did that because we're going to put a little bit of snow on that sign and how we did it is with the snowfall accent puffed paint now if you haven't used this one before you might want to take your silicone craft sheet and practice a little bit and uh, you know kind of figure that out so i'm going to show you how i did it now we're going to do one live here i'll do the sign too and then the rest i'll do off camera but take your puff paint and kind of make sure it's working first and then i'm just going to give it a good amount of of the stuff don't not too thin and not too thick and what happens is we're going to take our heat gun and we're going to heat it up and it's going to pop up and look really cool so i'm trying to not put too much or too little here and then i'm going to put a little bit on the sign right like that and now i'm going to turn on my heat gun before i turn on my heat gun i do want to show you what it looks like it's one of these little stations so i can put my gun in that hole on the top it has this little buffer here and while i'm heating it up and i'll turn it on here you can hear it on it's in its little stand so i don't have to do anything and you do want this pretty warm before you hit it um I'm always in fear of possibly burning the paper, but just let it sit for a sec, warm up, and then you might even want to grab a take your pick tool or something and hold it down. Now this thing does come with something you can clip down, but these are pretty small and it's like, eh, I'm not going to do that. So this is all warmed up. Now I'm going to hit it with the gun. Now it does take a second for it to finally bubble up, but it will bubble up. And it's starting to do it now. And like I said, you don't want to put on too little or too much because uh, it can really go crazy if you've got too much of a glob. So you might want to, like, if you haven't used it before, you might want to test it. See, that's like the perfect amount. And then I'm going to do the tree here, or the uh, sign. And it does take a little longer than... Um, embossing powders just like that so i'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these trees and i'll be back so here are all my finished trees and that sign now take this die here and the star die and cut this out twice this makes three of the tree trunks and the star i want you to take that uh red glitter paper and make we only need one little star it'll cut out three but get one little star now it's puppy time so we're gonna take the puppy stamp right here and we're gonna use soft suede and we're gonna stamp him out just like that now i'm gonna take my early espresso stamp and write marker if you don't have one i guess you can use black they do sell the basic black one individually um, and the in color ones they'll send, sell in a little five pack but if you want all the colors you have to get the big pack and if you're a demonstrator you definitely want to grab the big pack so i went ahead and did his eyeball and his nose and now i'm going to outline him in the early espresso so i'm going to outline him. i'll be right back so i've outlined him then i'm going to take the thicker side and i'm just going to give him a spot here and i'll take that back leg and fill it in a little bit and the front paw i'll fill that in 
and maybe a little under the undercarriage here and along his back side a little bit of the tail just like that just give him a little bit of coloring and he also has a little dye as well so i'm gonna do this and of course use my delicate frog tape i'm telling you i have an amazon link for it why why bear you know the thing about um washi tape like you have to be really careful like never use it in your brother's scan and cut because i have actually had washi tape come off and wrap around the the drum and everything so and this you can use over and over again until it like disintegrates so i'm going to cut them out and i'll be right back so i got my puppy all cut out and i put a couple of mini dimensionals on them i took the tapes off and i'm just stuck here on my silicone craft sheet i took the sign i put two dimensionals on here took off the tape here it's just sticking on my craft sheet now the one thing i kind of forgot i told myself not to forget but i forgot anyway is to put on the tree trunks before we did all the snow but that's okay so i'm going to take this little tiny tree trunk and it's the correct side uh, facing up and i'm going to take the snail here and i'm going to just put a little bit of snail on it and put the tree top on top of it just like that so i'm going to take all my little tree trunks and do the same thing and put those on but i would recommend doing that before you put on the snow so i'll do that and i'll be right back i'm also going to take that star and i'm going to snail that real quick and put it on one of the tall or the large trees just on the top like so now remember that reef and we took the um, pearlized enamel effects and we made those little tiny teeny tiny dots well I'm gonna take my fine tip glue and I'm gonna put just a little tiny bit of glue on there and then I'm gonna pop one of these off with my take your pick tools right on the edge and look it is fine and I'm gonna stick it on there and that's much better than the real red rhinestones because um, it's smaller so it actually looks like berries and it is doing great it's coming right off it's sticking to my take your pick tool and look at that pretty cool huh so now let's assemble our card first thing we're going to do is take that trailer and on the bottom part of the trailer we're going to double dimension dimensional and on the top, we're gonna single dimensional. So I've got those there. So the doubles are on the bottom because this is dimensional and it'll look weird if the bottoms aren't doubled. So I'm gonna take this and put it all the way to the side so you don't see this part of the mountain. And I put it down gently just in case I wanna move it, but I, I put this down and now let's go ahead and do the paw print. So I've got the paws here and that's the paw prints right here we're going to take memento and we're going to put some paw prints now they go from small to big so i want to put the small ones on the end and we definitely want to do this before we put on those trees and i'm going to put three of those and let's glue that reef onto the trailer so i'm just using my fine tip glue and i will put that right in the middle like that and then i'm going to take my trees now i put a double dimensional on the bottom single dimensional on the top all the tapes are off so i'm going to start lining these up like so and they could go a little bit off that white just because there's a border on the card and i'm going to take a small one here and i'm my big goal is to block out this line here now I'm going to take the tree with the uh, red glitter star and I'm going to put that one a little higher up and I'm going to take a small one you can mix these up however you want and I'm going to take a big one now I also want to make sure that I'm going to cover up this spot too so I'm going to put that tree for sale right there and now I'm just going to kind of figure out how I want those to all kind of lay down. So just kind of move them around like so, just like that. 
And don't forget Mr. Puppy. Oh, and I forgot to put this on the card front first. Before we sh did this, we should have put the thing on the card front. That's, that's okay. We can go ahead and do this a little backwards, right? So snail the green part of the card up because nothing's going to stick to that glitter. So I'm going to put this on just like so. And that's the card. So um, if you like the uh, video, please like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you are a first time subscriber, put in the comments that you want to win the demo card and put your email. You have to put your email. I can't talk to you without it. And that will do it for me. Thanks. Bye.